This is a 15-year-old female who has had numerous documented patellar dislocations. She has failed non-operative treatment. Therefore, she presents for a lateral release, VMO plication, and a distal realignment procedure. Here we are looking into the suprapatellar pouch. We have an, introduced an electrocautery device to cut through the lateral retinaculum from the inside out. This is beneficial in that we do not need to make an additional incision through the outside part of the skin. This allows the patella to be loosened on the outside part of the knee. In addition, we will also need to tighten the medial or inside part of the kneecap to realign the whole patella itself. Here we are on the inside part of the knee. We are introducing sutures from outside in and looking from inside the knee to imbricate or tighten the medial retinaculum. This again is beneficial in that we only need to make a small incision on the outside of the knee to retrieve the sutures and tie them down tightly. In this particular instance we have decided to place three sutures. Once all of the sutures have been placed, tracking is then reassessed. In this particular patient, a distal procedure was felt to be beneficial. After the arthroscopic procedure was finished, she had a realignment of her patellar tendon distally and has continued to, continued to do well after this procedure. Here we're watching the kneecap track and this has already improved from a preoperative evaluation.